there everyone hello everyone hello everyone so today I just want to talk about our weekend talk or about purpose today and when I say purpose I mean you or me trying to understand and appreciate the purpose of another person so it's a bit different there we're not talking about self-discovery here but I well I've found that these three things when considering when considering or trying to to understand another person and the person's purpose are very important that would be power passion and purity it'll make sense in a minute <laughs> it will make sense in a minute so oftentimes in this day and age you don't have a lot of time to get to know a person and if you want to be able to get them on your side if you want to be able to add them to a larger network that you have if you want to be able to understand them and give into their life or be an inspiration to them you need to understand what their purpose is and sometimes people are one not able to articulate this to you whether they know it or not or whether they they are keeping it a secret or not and then other times there's just simply not enough time to engage them in com conversation there sometimes you don't know the person at all so there's no background information to run on but you want to be impactful and you want to make a connection so although I have said that my network and the way I have in the past sometimes tried to expand my network has not been working there are a few instances that I can honestly say have worked really, really well. And so, of course, these are the ones that I will be sharing with you. So, let's get to power. Immediately when I'm meeting someone and I'm listening to them and I'm hearing what they're saying and, you know, communication's really happening, I look at their power. Their power of influence. Their their um their ability to lead and what they're good leading at i look at that right off the bat i look at their strengths what they are what they're strong at what what skills i can see that are clearly clearly above average are ones that they have been paying a lot of attention to and then i also look at the authority they have so if it is if it is that they have climbed to certain height in their career or if they have taken on certain responsibilities then that title whatever title that is shows me what authority they have so in trying to figure out what their purpose is I look at their power what do they have power of influence over and then I look at number two their passion so quickly over a short conversation if they've mentioned a particular word or a particular area over a couple times then I can flag that as something they're passionate about and it's really important to listen to people's passions because under passion comes perseverance and that is a great quality to have and it's a great quality to recognize and want you wherever that area of passion is it will most often align with their purpose and passion also includes focus so whatever they are most focused on so if you get to work with or in a group or over a short period of time with a person and you can recognize the moments when they're most focused and when I say focused I mean they are paying attention to any other surrounding stimulus a lot less so when they're in those periods of focus, whatever they are focusing on, flag that is something that's important. And then I also look at where their energy, what they're most energetic about, where their energy lies. So some people are introverts, some people are extroverts. So the level of energy that a person um, exhibits and energetic behavior and, and um, personality and emotion is always going to be different. However, when you're able to identify what they're most energetic about, oftentimes that aligns 
as they're passionate to their purpose. And then thirdly, what has really made me connect with people in a short space of time would be keeping my heart pure. So it's not everything that you have to find on the other party's part is you as well. I find if you come with a pure heart, which means no ulterior motives, evil second intentions, you're trying to strategically work your plot for your greater good alone. Once you can relieve yourself, and that means living right, that means being able to build trust, making all your actions point in one direction. And those three things all align with trust because the single most important thing you want to do in that very moment is build trust. And this trust has to begin and um, the foundation, should I say, made of the genuineness. And when you can show a person that, oh, my lifestyle suits what I'm talking about, it complements it, it is an example of what I'm speaking about, um, when my actions align with what I'm saying, then you can tell that I am really, really genuine in making this connection with you. So, that's the quick, that's the quick uh, insert about power, passion, and purity. Those are three things that I really push. If I have two minutes, if I have five minutes, I try to connect to a person through those three things. And believe it or not, Honestly, when you do it right, you are able to know a person, appreciate a person, and love a person who you just met, who you think you would have known for a long time, but you've never explored any of these three options, and then you see them in a completely different light. And uh, let me just say, I'm saying a disclaimer at the very end of this video, however, I must say it. Trying to understand a person's purpose is not something for people who... Are going to be affected by going out of their way to understand others when i what i'm saying is there's some people who really genuinely do not care they do not care about anyone else and they build networks through their own means and normally it's just they're focusing on them they need to get where they need to go and that's fine that is what i term one-dimensional thinking because i do believe at the end of the day no man is an island and everyone should aspire to a level of maturity which allows them to be able to want to and actually practice getting to know a person's purpose through these you know these three p's i think they should try to get there in maturity to the point where it does not affect how they live how they operate and them reaching their own goals some people will not care because it takes away from their time takes away from their brain space it just takes away from what they're doing generally but the more mature person and I would encourage everyone and my future self is working so hard at this if you can appreciate others if you can get to know them and if you can genuinely make connections with them and broaden your network by including them and still keep yourself strong and still keep yourself focused and still be on point with all that you do, you're a boss. That, I think, is humanity getting better. That is progress. And that's what I share to my future self as it relates to ways in which I have worked with people that have been successful, added people to my network, who are still there, who I still love dearly. And most of all, I encourage my future self to continue to try to perfect this. So I think I'm done talking. I'm done talking. Those are my three Ps. Understanding other people's purposes. Taking the time to do that. Through understanding their power. Understanding their passion and having a pure mind while doing all of that that's it for me go make connect
connection, do exceptionally well at life. Have a wonderful day. Bye.